Hello everyone. Today I have a little art dress to share with you. This is a little ballerina art dress. When I was making my ballerina slippers and using the paper mache, I decided to make a couple more corsets. Um, do it all in one go. And after I finished my ballet slippers, I was in ballerina mode, so I thought I'd turn one of my corsets into a little ballerina tutu and I'm really quite happy with how it's turned out. Um, this is using Lily's wonderful products once again and um, it's actually quite simple how I've done it. I've used the same beautiful pink lace on the bodice there as I used on the ballerina slippers. It was the last little bit that I had left of it so I'm hoping she gets some more of that in store because it's it's really beautiful. It's like a peachy pink. I have some pink small pink beading around the top of the bodice and a little bit larger around the skirt part in there down the front I've just used a couple of off cuts of one of Lily's laces oh, which is this lace here I just used this top part this little section here like that I used it going up the front and then I used another one going down so as to make like a little applique on the front of her dress. Then I've put some doodad flowers down the center and on the ends of the little applique I made I've just put some little sparkles and they're just, I actually got these by mistake uh, a while ago they, I was ordering something online and um, there you go they're ever so tiny and their people sent me a bag of these and I thought what on earth will I ever do with those well actually I love them now because they're so tiny and they're the same type of thing that's in the middle of the doodad flowers as well for the top of her skirt here of her tutu I've just made it like a gathered flower out of this beautiful lace that Lily sells this is basically all I have left of that as well and it's very dainty and then under that I have a couple of layers of glittered tulle that Kimmy sent me thank you Kimmy underneath the dress I have got a doily and I've also got one of these flowers from Lily's store and just trimmed the very center so it wasn't too pointy but it's to sort of replicate you know where the tutu comes down at the bottom and then I've just put a little string of this lovely little iridescent tinsel underneath there just to add a little bit of sparkle for her wings it's actually one of the lovely butterflies that Lily sells and I've just cut around the top section there and cut the center out and once I've done that I have a little bit of um, plastic you know just from packaging I glued it to the plastic and then on the other side I glued some more glittered chul so it didn't make it too shiny and then I carefully cut around the shape of the wings. I have a small butterfly on the back just to tidy things up, doodad flower in the center and just another little bit of lace with some pearls to make it pretty and that's how I've done the back. A couple of ribbons I used for the little shoulder straps and inside here all I've done there is I've got some of Lily's lovely laces and I've just run a gathered stitch through it and pulled it like that. In the center I've put some more iridescent tinsel and then I've finished it off and placed it inside like that just to make it look pretty inside. I also ran a very small line of um, glitter glue 
inside there as well. I made just this little rustic looking coat hanger and then at the top of the coat hanger I've put the little turtle doves that Lily sells, added a sprinkle of glitter to it and on the back I have one of her little appliques and a doodad flower. I've added a jump ring and then I've used one of her lovely silver hearts. So I'll just move this up a little bit there with the lamp shining on it. One of her silver hearts and doodad flower in the center of that and then just threaded some white satin ribbon through that to hang it with. And I think that's about it. That's my lovely little tutu, ballerina tutu that I've made. It sparkles ever so pretty. And I hope it's picking up in the camera. And, um, yeah, the way I attached the skirt was quite easy because, of course, the, the corsets... So I've got another one that I made as well. And this I haven't done anything with it yet. This is the corset once you take it off the, the doll form and depending how you want to, you know, decorate it and things like that. But the way I added this one to the skirt was once it was closed up, I just, oh, I had it here a minute ago, where is it? Hmm. All I did was get some cardstock or paper and I basically just went like that to get the overall shape and then I glued it on the inside the, the correct kind of shape for the dress form of course and I glued that on and of course you know I rounded it all off at the same time and that and I also put one going the other way and that gave me a nice flat base to, okay, this is just a ruffle flower, um, to glue the dress form onto so that it had a nice firm base and it wasn't going to move anywhere. And the base is just made like a normal gathered flower as well. So very simple to make actually and it, it's a lovely way to use all your tiny little things you know all those little scrap bits that you don't need a lot of and your flowers and doilies and just little odds and ends so I hope you like my lovely little ballerina tutu I think she's lovely and um, yep yeah, I managed to fit a project in didn't I <laughs> Okay then, thank you so much for watching. Bye.